Welcome to the second video in our moving series. In the first video, we talked about how to prep your space for a move and get it ready to go on the market. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to prepare your space for a showing. So what to do in the minutes before that prospective buyer walks through your door. There's a lot more details about this video and all of our other moving series content up on our website, which is cleanmyspace.com. And I got the links for you down below. All right, so here are 10 things you can do before a buyer comes over in less than 10 minutes. Let's go. Tidy your front entryway. This means put your mail away, make sure your keys are hidden in their special spot, hang up any coats, put away any shoes, and make that entryway look nice and welcoming. Dust mop your hard floor surfaces. When people come in to see your space, they want to see it looking clean and floors play a big role in that. So a quick little cheat you can do is grab a dust mop, throw a microfiber cloth on there or a refillable cloth and give each space with hard floor surfaces a quick once over. Put your clothes away. When people walk in the door, they don't want to see all your stuff lying around everywhere. So you're either going to hang it up fold it up or put it away in a hamper. This goes for any jackets hung outside of your front hall closet, any clothing on your bedroom floor, the floor drobe. Everything should look neat and tidy, otherwise it needs to be out of sight. Wipe your kitchen surfaces. People are going to walk in and judge your space based on the cleanliness of your kitchen. So you want it looking parfait. An easy way to do this is to just clean all of the surfaces really quickly. You can use a disposable wipe or you can use a microfiber cloth with a little bit of all-purpose cleaner. Either way, you're still living there, you're still eating there, so you gotta make sure it's crumb and speck free. Don't forget inside the sink, making sure that's nice and shiny. And if you want brownie points, empty the garbage. Shine your bathroom taps and mirrors. Now I'm assuming that your bathroom is already clean and that you already saw the first video so we don't need to go through the whole bathroom thing. But right before someone comes over, you wanna make sure that you take a cloth and quickly polish up the faucets and use your finger inside a microfiber cloth to take away any of those little scuff marks or spots or sprays on your bathroom mirror. This is a great way to go the extra mile before you have a prospective buyer come over. Freshen and straighten your towels. This might seem like a really small point, but it does go a long way in making your space look pristine. Keep a separate set of towels in the kitchen as well as in your bathrooms. So that way, right before people are coming by to check your space out, you can quickly change out your sets of towels. That way they'll only see something fresh and crisp and straight and looking good when they walk through your home. Make your bed. At the risk of sounding like your mom, it is really important to make your bed, especially when you're having people come by to check out your space. It makes the home feel warm and welcoming and it really makes the bedroom feel tranquil. Plus, you don't wanna walk into someone's house and see their bed all disheveled and looking freaky. Make it look nice and it will pay you back in spades. Freshen the air. One of the most important things for a first impression when someone walks into your space is the smell. And a great way to do that is to use one of the many different scent boosters, if you will, that we've talked about several times. I'll link how to do that down below, but you can use a nebulizer, a reed diffuser, a lamp rouge, some baking soda, some vinegar, open your windows, anything that you want, as long as you make the house smell nice and fresh. Now, another thing you can do as well is check your garbages, make sure that they're empty and they're not housing anything stinky of their own. Clear your surfaces. Obviously, it's really important to make sure that you don't have any clutter lying around the house. And I know you're still living there, so it's kind of a balancing act. What I would recommend is just get a laundry basket, put anything in there that doesn't belong, and hide it somewhere. I mean, yeah, they might see it when they're peeking in your cupboards, but hey, you're living there. You gotta do what you gotta do. The idea here is you wanna make your space kinda look like a showroom. So depersonalize it as much as you can and make it as vast and expansive as you can by leaving as little clutter behind as possible. Lock up your animals. This here is Stella, Lucas's dog. And whenever him and his wife had a showing at the condo, they would put little Stella on her leash, take her for a walk, and let the potential buyers come through and see the space uninhibited by this teeny tiny little dog. She packs quite a bark, so... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, Stella. She's a yappy little dog, as you might have noticed, and they didn't want to turn off any potential buyers. So taking her for a walk, 
made sure that anybody who came through the door, whether they like dogs or not, didn't have to be affected by little Stella here. So if you have a pet, put them in a crate or have a separate room for them that they can stay in during a showing, take them to a pet sitter or whatever you gotta do. Just get them out of the house. Any real estate agent will tell you the better your space looks, the better it'll do on the market. So spend the extra time to make your space look great a few minutes before a showing and I promise you, it'll pay you back. This week's comment question, and I cannot wait to hear your stories on this, is what have you seen at a showing in someone's home which has made you like raise an eyebrow or really question society at large? Let me know your freaky, creepy stories in the comment box down below. We have way more details about this particular topic as well as all of the other moving content that we've put out, and frankly, all of the other content that we've ever put out, available on our website, which is cleanmyspace.com, so be sure to check that out. You can also follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to. I'm at Melissa Maker, the camera guy who's not interested in moving anytime soon. He is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're going to love. The first one talks about how to declutter your bedroom. It's a good one. You might want to check that out. And while you're at it, you might want to check out our second video, which is all about how to prep your space for a move. It was the first video in our moving series. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next week.